privilege to note that our Holy Father Pope Francis has sent a beautiful letter in Latin to Bishop Tomlinson. And unlike my friend Archbishop Iliana, who was the nuncio, I won't read it in Latin. <laughs> to our venerable brother Leslie Rogers Tomlinson, Bishop Emeritus of Sandhurst, celebrating the golden jubilee of priestly ordination received for the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Melbourne. We are mindful of and thank you for your long-standing pastoral skill and your dedicated care and hard work done with humanity and energetic love. In the name of Christ, you have come not to receive ministry, but to minister, leading the holy people in charity, nourishing them with the word and renewing them with the sacraments. Wishing you the greatest of all these gifts, we freely impart our blessing to you and to those near to you, asking that you pray for our Petrine ministry, given at Rome from the Lateran on the 31st of July, 2022. Francis. Now I'm under instructions, and I have to tell you, I don't play the trumpet. <laughs> So dear members of the Tomlinson family, dear friends and parishioners, dear collaborators from the Archdiocese who shared so much of Les's life, we're here with Bishop Les to thank our loving God for the gift of priesthood conferred on him at Red Cliffs on the 18th of August 1972. And we do come today in prayer and rejoicing in God's gifts to Les, and the way in which Les has befriended served and inspired all of us through these years. A priest leads us to God through the Mass, the sacraments and prayer. He teaches us and shows us Christ-like care in his human engagement with us. Les has done this so well, meeting us where we are, showing interest, kindness and compassion, and placing his abilities at our service even at challenging times. So the Church of Melbourne and beyond pays tribute to all that he continues to do with such energy and gentleness. Family and parish care, confirmations and visits, and so much more. As we've already heard, after studies in Corpus Christi at St. Paul's Seminary, he was ordained as a Melbourne priest and served in Mitcham, and three years on loan in Hobart, returning to North Dandenong and Sunshine, before becoming successively pastor at Carlton, Roeville and Ormond. In 2003, after four months as Dean of St. Patrick's, where well, he certainly wasn't a there, I appointed him Vicar General, which office he exercised with such distinction, attention to detail and hard work. I remain deeply grateful for all your work with me this, there, and afterwards, travelling as a brother bishop in Melbourne from 2009 and Sandhurst from 2012 to 19. And this has returned to live here and offer masses in retirement is, I am sure you'll agree, a great joy for us. As priest, figure general and bishop, he's totally loyal to the Holy Father, involved in a wide range of committees, serving our dioceses, their priests and people with broad experience, wisdom, and faithfulness to prayer. Bishop Les shows huge generosity in an ongoing way. He volunteered for something that I didn't volunteer for. He was a volunteer from among the retired bishops at the recent Plenary Council. And he did it well. Bishop Les deserves our Lord's approbation. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. And that's the joy that we pray will sustain Les in these years that it will be always be with him for the length of his days. May there be many fruitful, peaceful and joy-filled. Admultos Anos. <laughs>